Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'll be looking at 4.5 to 4.7 transformations. Now, 4.5 to 4.7 represents sections from Chapter 4 in the Pearson A-Level Maths, Pure Maths Year 1 textbook. Let's go through the key facts. So over here, I've got a general curve y equal f of x. Number 1, y equal f of x plus a on the outside is a translation of the graph y equal f of x by the vector 0, a. In other words, you take the y coordinate and you add a, keeping x fixed. Number two, y equal f of x plus a inside the bracket is a translation of the graph y equal f of x by the vector minus a zero. In other words, you take your x coordinate and you subtract a, keeping y fixed. Number three, y equal a multiplied by f of x is a stretch of the graph y equal f of x by a scale factor of a in the vertical direction. In other words, you take the y coordinate and you multiply by a, keeping x fixed. Number four, y equal f of ax inside the bracket is a stretch of the graph y equal f of x by a scale factor of one over a in the horizontal direction. In other words, you take your x coordinate and you divide by a, keeping y fixed. Number five, y equal minus f of x is a reflection of y equal f of x in the x-axis. So if the negative is outside the function, it's a reflection in the x-axis. Number six, y equal f of minus x, now the negative is inside the function, represents a reflection of y equal f of x in the y-axis. So you need to know all of these transformations in order to take a general curve and transform it for your examination. We know all the different types of transformations, let's go through an example. Figure 1 shows the graph of y equal f of x. Sketch labelling a and b the graphs of a, b, c, d, e and f. Let's start off with a. So we've got f of 2x inside the bracket. You take the x coordinates, divide by 2, keeping y fixed. So my new coordinate a will become 3 over 2 and 4. My coordinate b will remain the same at the origin. Now the asymptote is not affected because this transformation only affects their x coordinates. So the asymptote is still y equal 2. Part b, a half of f of x. You take the y coordinates, you multiply by a half, keeping the x coordinates fixed. So my new coordinate a will become 3, 2, because we've taken the y coordinate 4, we multiplied by a half, we got 2, keeping x fixed at 3. My coordinate for b still remains at the origin. The asymptote will get affected, because remember, this transformation is affecting the y coordinates. So initially we had an asymptote of y equal 2. 2 times a half is 1, so the new asymptote is at y equal 1. Part C, f of x minus 2. So you take your whole function f of x and you shift it 2 units downwards. In other words, you take your y coordinate, subtract 2, keeping x fixed. So my new coordinate A will become 3, 2, okay? Because 4 take away 2 is 2, and the 3 remains fixed. My new coordinate B becomes 0 minus 2. Why? Because y equals 0, you take the 0, minus 2, you get minus 2. The x coordinate, you keep it fixed. The asymptote y equal 2 gets shifted 2 units downwards to y equals 0. In other words, the x axis. Part D, f of x plus 3 inside the bracket. So over here, you're taking your whole function and you're shifting it 3 units to the left. In other words, you take your x coordinates, subtract 3, keeping y fixed. So my new coordinate A is now 0, 4. 3 take away 3 is 0. The y is 4, you keep it fixed. My new coordinate B is minus 3, 0. x equals 0, you take 0, subtract 3, that's minus 3. The y equals 0 remains fixed. Now this transformation does not affect the asymptote. So the asymptote is still y equal 2. Part E, f of x minus 3 inside the bracket. Now you take your whole function and you shift it 3 units to the right. In other words, you're taking your x coordinates, adding 3, keeping y fixed. So my new coordinate A is now at 6, 4. My new coordinate B is at 3, 0. Okay, so let's have a look at A, which is 3, 4. If I take 3 and I add 3, I get 6. The y remains fixed. So if I take x equals 0, I add 3, it becomes 3 y equals 0 remains fixed. So that's my new coordinate, b. Now the asymptote is not affected because this function only affects the x coordinates. 
So the asymptote is fixed at y equal to part f minus f of x. This over here represents a reflection of f of x in the x-axis. So if I put a mirror on the x-axis, I need to generate the reflected image of this. So the reflected image of this is something like this. The asymptote gets reflected to y equal minus 2. The coordinate A gets reflected to coordinate 3 minus 4. The coordinate B remains fixed at the origin. So that there completes part F. And this particular example and overall this teaching video. So please, for the exam, you need to make sure you understand all of these transformations. These are your key facts. Once you know all of these transformations, you can take any function f of x and you can transform it accordingly. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post teaching videos.